Hi, this is problem 15 from the 2019-12A. Positive real numbers a and b have the property that this log expression is equal to 10, and all four terms on the left are positive integers where log denotes the base 10 logarithm. What is the product a times b? Okay, we have this uh, messy log expression. All terms are integers summing to 100. And I see an opportunity to take the exponent rule for log to get rid of this square root signs and just divide out by 2. And let's examine these terms and see what this tells us about the variables a and b. So for this term, it looks like a has to be of the form 10 to some exponent where once the exponent comes out of the log, we can still divide out by 2 and have an integer. So this has to be an even exponent. And likewise for b, b has to be of the form 10 to some even exponent. If we look at these two terms, we see that a has to be of the form 10 to some exponent. But now when this exponent comes out of the log, we have to be able to take the square root and end up with an integer. So this has to be a perfect square. Likewise for b, b has to be 10 to some exponent that's a perfect square. So taken all together, it looks like we have that uh, a is equal to 10 to some integer m, where this is an even number. And likewise for b, 10 to some integer n, perhaps different, but uh, also an even number. So let's take these two forms and plug them into our original equation and see what that tells us. So plugging into the original equation, we'll have that uh, m plus n plus m squared over 2. n squared over 2 is equal to 100. Let's uh, multiply out by 2 and rearrange a little bit. Anytime you have squares plus linear terms, it's usually a good idea to complete the square. Let's do that. Factor. And we have a, a uh, integer equation involving squares totaling to 202. I'm not really sure how to solve this, but I know that these two squares are both odd and they're not too many odd squares that add to 202 so let's uh, just make a short list of odd squares 25 squared or 7 squared 9 squared 11 squared 13 squared and look for two squares that add up to 202 all right, that's pretty easy. So it looks like we'll have 9 squared and 11 squared. So 9 is equal to m plus 1. m is equal to 8. n plus 1 is equal to 11. n is equal to 10. So ab is equal to 10 to the 64 times 10 to the 100. For choice D.